magic mirror, ab workout. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be modifying my smart mirror that I built about a year ago, and you can find that video right here. But I'm gonna be modifying it and making it even smarter, and I'm gonna be adding a voice control, a fitness assistant. The goal is to make it like one of those Lululemon mirrors that you've probably seen everywhere, and it's gonna help me work out, and it's gonna be not a thousand dollars, but it's gonna be using the mirror that I already have. I love working out, as you guys know. So I thought this was the perfect project to upgrade my mirror a little bit and also show you guys what I've made. I decided that the software is probably pretty boring for me to just go through and show you so I put that all in the description box. I will also be answering any questions in the comments. I just want to keep this video pretty short for you guys so let's do this. Okay so this is my setup right now. I have my mirror on my desk and believe it or not it is on. You just can't really see it very well because the sun is hitting it but I have everything as a VNC on my laptop so it's much easier to see and work with and I have it all plugged in. This is going to be the camera that I'm using and I'm mostly using this for the microphone and not the camera but the microphone that I actually bought that was separate wasn't working so I had to compromise a little bit here. So let me show you the program that I've written so far for the fitness assistant. It is going to be a fitness randomizer. It'll support an ab, a leg, and an arm workout for 10, 15, however many minutes you want to make it. And it has a start, pause, resume, reset, and these buttons aren't actually going to be on the screen. They're going to be um, all voice control, but how it works is, for example, if I want to do a five minute ab workout, I'm going to press that and it'll set that up for me five minutes and then I'm gonna press start and it counts down and then it starts the workout so right here is the workout that's going on for 10 seconds each I did that just for testing so we're doing leg lifts for three two one and then it's gonna change it to another random workout so sit-ups is the next one and as you can see it crosses out the last one and both timers are running this one's for the specific exercise so this is all on my laptop at the moment in Adam just a regular text editor but the next steps are to move it to the Raspberry Pi and incorporate everything with voice control magic mirror ab workout So it usually does take a second just to load up and it is nowhere as good as Google's Google Home or the Amazon Echo, but it is a work in progress and I'm always trying to make it better. So basically how it works is that there is a Python speech module called speech.py and everything is in the GitHub, like I said, but that is always listening and it uses Google's speech to text API and also uses Pocket Sphinx and it looks for keywords so I have it set as a wake word to magic mirror and then it will compare what I say after that to the commands that I put in. So I put in ab workout, leg workout, arm workout, I put in stop, I put in quit and I put in end workout and I put in home so then I'll go back to the original time, news, whatever setup that I had. As you can see, it looks exactly like I had on my laptop in the previous clip and it counts down. But my one issue with this Electron app is that it's slowing down my code a lot and it's glitching. So as you can see, it'll go from like 26 to 24 and it is actually accurate with the seconds, but it'll skip numbers displaying them in between and it's, it's a little bit annoying to me and I think I could fix that by making the animation just still so getting rid of the animation and that will make the program run a little bit faster but it is because it's an Electron desktop app and not a JavaScript browser app that it doesn't run ex as smoothly as it did on my computer. So that's the one thing that I wanted to change and I wanted to talk to you guys about that. And if anyone has any ways to make that faster or anything like that, like please let me know. So I got rid of the animation and it actually works a lot better now. As you can see, it counts down pretty smooth. And another thing that I forgot to mention earlier was that I added a shutdown voice command. And I would highly recommend this for anyone who is adding voice commands to their smart mirror because hard shutting the Raspberry Pi is never good. So it's nice to shut it down and then unplug it. That pretty much wraps up my video and of course I had to try it out. So here I'm doing an ab workout and all of my workouts are randomly picking from a list of 50 exercises just to keep it 
it interesting and you guys had such an amazing response to my first smart mirror video so thank you to everyone who's been watching me since then i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time